This is why you never back down to the SJWs, because if you do anything that goes outside of the SJW narrative, it doesn't matter what you say after that, you will be ostracized by them, you will be cast out by them, and we are seeing this right now with Scarlett Johansson. So a couple days ago, Scarlett Johansson made some comments where she was basically saying, I'm an actress, I should be able to act in any role that I want. I mean, that's the whole thing about acting. You are acting as something that you are not. But that received, but she received a lot of backlash from SJWs because of that. She got absolutely destroyed by SJWs on Twitter over the past couple days. And so because, because of that, she then made a statement where she basically tried to clarify her, con her comments. But she didn't really change anything that she said previously. She basically just kind of uh, explained the context in which she said her comments. Um, and she tried to basically use that to kind of try to slow down the onslaught that she is receiving. But it didn't. It didn't work. The SJWs are still furious with her. They are still mad at her. They are still continuing to make memes about her and come after her on Twitter and all sorts of other uh, social media platforms. Now, this is why you don't pander to them. This is why you don't apologize to them because they they will not ever, ever accept your apology. They will just continue to cry and scream and beg for more and want more and be completely discontent with anything that they have. So, this is, this is just recent com these are just recent tweets that have come out um and this is way after her clarification of her comments so we have things like scarlett johansson as a tree scarlett you are ridiculous not seeing black widow so the people are saying this just because she made comments where she said that she should be able to play in any role that she that she wants um and we're seeing tons of comments about this on on uh, on twitter and stuff how do y'all compare a black Ariel to Scarlett Johansson playing a trans character? Mermaids aren't real, so anyone can play one. Trans people are, and there are trans actors. Yeah, but the problem is, the problem is, okay, look, I'm just going to say it right here. Look, <laughs> there is no reason why she shouldn't be able to play a trans character, especially a trans man, because let's be honest, a trans man is basically a woman thinking that she's a man. That would be pretty easy for Scarlett Johansson to do. She could easily think that she's a woman who thinks that she's a man. That's not that difficult. That could be something that she could easily do. There's no, there's no, there's no reason why she couldn't do that. Um, and like I said yesterday, my my video yesterday, uh, actors should be able to play in any role that they are capable of playing in. Hey, if she wanted to play a tree right now, she could. Do you know how? Because she could do. I mean, we have Groot. We have. We, we have Vin Diesel playing a talking tree already. We've had people like John Reese davies do the voice of Treebeard in Lord of the Rings back in the day. Already back then. He was basically playing a tree. It wasn't obviously just exclusively him playing the tree. He had a lot of help from technical aspects and special effects and all that type of stuff. But he was still playing a tree. This is not a difficult concept. I These memes that are coming out over Scarlett Johansson are completely hype, hyperbolic and stupid. And this is a really, really stupid situation that's happening right now. But this just goes to show that if you say anything that's outside of the SJW narrative, then you will be outcast. And we're seeing this right now with Scarlett Johansson. Even after she made the clarification of her comments... She didn't really clarify her comments. Well, she clarified them, sort of, and clarified the context in which she was saying them. But she still held fast to what she was originally saying in those original comments. In fact, let me see if I can pull it up right here. Uh, so these are what she actually. These are the comments that she actually said. Um, are we seeing an acting trend today? Hmm. We live in such a weird time that a sort of identity less that is sort of identity less in a lot of ways i don't know if there's a trend to performance but there's certainly trends in casting right now today there's a lot of emphasis and a conversation about what acting is and who we want to see represent ourselves on screen the question is what is acting anyway right who gets to play what roles you know as an actor i should be allowed to play any person or tr or any tree or any animal because that is my job and the requirements of my job amen scarlet Yes, must you only represent yourself, your gender, your ethnicity, or can you in fact play beyond those categories? There are a lot of social lines being drawn now and a lot of political correctness is being reflected in art and I totally agree. I totally 
agree with this this statement that she made does that bore you annoy you buck you up cheer you on i know it's complicated there's probably not one answer you know i feel like it's a trend in my business and it needs to happen for various social reasons yet there are times it does get uncomfortable when it affects the art because i feel an art should be free of restrictions and i totally agree you know and we are to the point where for social for social reasons we can no longer have uh people playing certain types of characters and that's just ridiculous that is dumb that is really really dumb um and i think that that the 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 hate towards scarlett johansson right now is unwarranted and i'm just going to continue to defend her and what she said because what she said is truth what she said is truth and people are just upset with that sjw's are upset with her and so basically the whole thing with believe women trust women respect women is going out the window right now because it just goes to show that it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter what kind of a woman you are if you say anything that goes outside of the narrative then you will be outcast so at the end of the day it doesn't matter if you are a woman or not you will be outcast if you say anything that goes against the narrative. If Brie Larson made these comments, she would be in the same boat. And Brie Larson, as we all know, is the queen of queens right now when it comes to Hollywood and SJWs. But if she said what Scarlett Johansson said in those comments, she would be in the same situation as Scarlett Johansson is in now. Believe women, respect women, unless they go against the narrative. Then, cast them out. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.